Hello guys, welcome to my video series tutorial to talk about Microsoft Semantic Kernel. In this video, I am going to write one program. One of our friend asked this question. So he want to, he don't want to complete JSON. So he sent the query in natural language, like what is the temperature in Bangalore. So he need the output, only the temperature in Bangalore is something example 32 degree, something like that. So how to implement this concept using Semantic Kernel? Let's start. Go to Visual Studio. Here I have created basics. So here I written the function create kernel builder. This function written the kernel object. Before build the kernel object, the weather plugin also. And I have written one more function called get weather information. If you send our user request, this function return the JSON, complete JSON. So here I assign the kernel object. The next step, I pass the user information to this get weather information to get the JSON. The next step, we take this user input and send this user input to weather information to get the weather details. Let's start how to implement this feature. To implement this feature, I'm going to use handlebar template format. This I have already discussed in one of my videos. So the ninth example, I discuss about this handlebar concept. The same thing I'm going to use to get weather information. So here I have created the template format and the name of the template JSON prompt and description I added. Here the handlebar prompt template, I registered my helper class JSON format. And once this prepared, this function return the prompt template. So the first step, we have to pass JSON information and uh, user information to this func function to make our prompt ready. For that, I am going to add here two variable. The input variable, I am going to pass the runtime. The runtime, I am going to pass the first argument is the name. Name is input and description of this variable users location input like this I specified and this part input and this property is required is required equal to true. The next property I have to pass the JSON also. So the next input I added weather and description weather data, this property is required. These two property, I have to pass this helper class, custom helper class. For that, I'm going to define here template template helper class JSON prompt and I have to pa pass input and weather. That's it. So this configuration settings is ready. The next step, here I'm going to add my query. So at the moment I just make return uh, string.empty, but we'll change it. So here first argument is a city name. So city name, city name is a first argument. So it's a zeroth index arguments dot to string. The next argument weather information, weather info arguments one dot to string. So we received argument. Next step we have to write the prompt. So the prompt equal to, so here I added my prompt, first look at the city name in the provided text, so our 
city name passed here or we change it as a user input user input so here I change as user input afterward retrieve only the temperature data for identify city from the weather information we are passing this one weather information here ensure the exclusion of other details I don't want other details even if the city name is found in the text also I don't want because sometimes the city name also it's returning to the function so I don't want to this information and I given the example to this prompt for example the current temperature in the city is 25 degrees Celsius something like this so here I attached my JSON also so the weather information we received in the argument one that information I added here and finally return the prompt the complete prompt oh, this is not needed so this is ready our prompt template is ready we have to pass the input and weather information to this configuration so for that I'm going to write one more function private static static this is async only so async return type task at the moment let it keep task here the function name create prompt template so this is a function I need two arguments one for input and the other one for the weather information so here I pass string user input the next argument weather information so weather info so where prompt template go to create handlebar handlebar template the next step we have to render the input with this prompt config for that where prompt equal to a way handlebar template dot render function the, fir the first argument render function is a kernel ar argument so we have to pass the kernel object also here so the kernel kernel called as kernel builder here the variable name here I pass the kernel argument first argument the second we have to pass the kernel arguments so kernel arguments here first argument is the input so this is a dictionary we have to use like this the second argument we have to pass weather data so weather information is we passed so finally return the prompt so the return type also we have to change it so now the return type is string create prompt template function is ready so we have to call this function once we pass the required arguments this function internally call another function create handlebar template after that it's render our input with this prompt config finally return the complete prompt so go to our main code here just change it like this yeah. so here we have to call the create prompt template we have to pass required argument our prompt is ready finally we have, we have to execute this prompt so where, where uh, result equal to a uh, wait kernel dot invoke prompt async we have to pass a prompt that's it so we print the result console dot foreground color I change as yellow console color yellow and print the result result and 
just add the read function so that we can see the output. Here I change like this. So this function, I have to do one more changes here, result dot get value because this is returns a function result. So string, that's it. I do one more changes, go to our external weather plugin. So here we print the JSON or this one, provide the text, let me know weather in Bangalore. Here I send the request to Bangalore. We get the weather information. Bangalore, this is a complete JSON. Now the request is processing and we get the result of the temperature in Bangalore is 23, 26 degrees Celsius. Here you can see the temperature is 26 degrees Celsius and we get the same result. And we do one thing. So here I put the breakpoint and we can see the complete prompt. So put the breakpoint here. Uh, restart the application. Send message, let me know. Send message, let me know about Tanjavur. You are Tanjavur. So this is our prompt. Actually, uh, I sent uh, Tanjavur, but here I get message about because of this is a trial key. So it don't, it always it won't respond proper city information. So that that's the reason I get about. But the idea here is this is our prompt. So the, we added the prompt using this handlebar template and we attach the JSON after mm -hmm. executing this one this invoke prompt, we get the result. I hope you can understand how to implement this feature. Thank you.